Good morning and welcome to Spirit Forest. This is my first morning in my big canvas tent and uh, I think we did it. I think we did pretty good, huh? Oh, this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. It was me arriving and I, I don't remember what I did yesterday. But that's the cool thing about being out here. There is no no plans or anything. He's leaning on me. <laughs> You're not a lap dog, buddy. You're not a lap dog. Go play. You got two acres to play. Go on, go play. Go play. Always when I start to film, he wants to cuddle. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. I'm going to give him some cuddle time for a little bit. I'll be right back with you. I love being out here. This is just so peaceful. If you don't have a place like this, I cannot re recommend highly enough to get your own place and just be in nature because, <sighs> because of that. Because <laughs> you could just do that. So last night was good. Um, I did go through a ton of wood. So when I was in my Viking tent, and that is in the in the in the winter time, I had a little Viking tent. If you haven't seen those videos, check those out. But when I was in my Viking tent, I think I went through about six logs a night. I think I went through like eight. I might have gone a little overboard. I, I might have gone a little overboard last night, but it, it did get to 90 degrees inside there. <laughs> But um, I went through a ton of wood, just a ton of wood, and you got to see this. I went through the majority of my wood that was under my deck. <laughs> so guess what I'm going to do today? Um, I'm going to chop some wood. That's going to be on the agenda today. So that way the next time I come out here, and if it's raining, I at least have enough wood that I can just stick it in the, the stove. So I'm gonna get myself prepared. I have my stove right now, it's dying down. It takes about three hours or so for that stove to die down. So I will be leaving here in the afternoon and going down to the city. The sun was really in my eyes, so I had to move the camera. So last time I was out here, I put up the tent. And we came home and there was a tick um, that traveled with us and we were able to pull out Madison's little microscope and look at this tick. It was, and, and, and identify it, it was a Rocky Mountain wood tick. Now, I don't like ticks, I don't like bugs either, but when Madison sees a bug, she starts freaking out and she won't come camping. And um, so there's certain things that I do to kind of it helps her out, I think, more than anything, is there certain things that I do to try to protect my tent area. And I'm gonna be doing it over in the, the tent area for my classes as well. Um, and I'm gonna show you that in this video. So it kind of protects against ticks a little bit. You know, you, you can do what you can, but um, you know, they like to, to they, they like to go on their own. <laughs> So anyways, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing that. I got some lights that I got to put up as well around the property. I got some motion detector lights. I'm just going to put those back up. I don't know if I'm going to film that or not because it probably doesn't need to be filmed. And uh, just get the place kind of ready for my classes. For those of you that don't know, I do teach wilderness classes to ladies. Um, I have two backpacking classes. So there's going to be eight ladies out here. So it's four at a time. We're going to have so much fun. Now, I hope it warms up by the time the classes um, start because it's pretty chilly for, for May. Ooh, our first squirrel. You get it, Rockies? <laughs> Do you hear it? Oh, he's yelling at Rocky. That's hilarious. Oh, he's peeing on the tree. Go figure. Oh, my battery's blanket. Let me change the battery and then I'll talk a little bit more. <clears throat> he didn't catch the squirrel. No. It's a hummingbird. I don't know. If, did you see that on the video? That was really cool. It's hummingbird season. They come around this time. All the neighbors are putting up their hummingbird feeders during the day. They have to take it down during the night because of the bears. 
Honestly, I think they should probably not even have them up because it just attracts the bears to the area. But I can see why people would like it. You know, they like to, to see the hummingbirds. They are really pretty. So yeah, that's the first squirrel I've seen here in a while. Um, some things that I'm gonna do a little differently is that I usually keep uh, Rocky's water ball over by the water barrel. And uh, if you're not familiar with my water barrel, I can show you a little bit later in the video because I think we'll be over there. But uh, I collect water off the roof of my tent and that is for Rock Rocky's water. So sometimes I've seen the squirrels come up and drink out of the water bowl. Well, that I think attracts them to the tent as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and you've seen it this morning, is I'm going to have his now his water bowl in the kitchen area, which is kind of a pain for me because I got to haul the water all the way over there. But I'd rather do that than have any more problems with squirrels. If you watch my video called Stressed, you'll see what my problem is with the squirrels. They are starting to eat my tent making they had a party in my tent they literally did they had a party in the tent um pooped all over it ate blankets <clears throat> and i was only gone for four days and then um then they decided to take a dip in my water barrel so check out that video if you haven't seen that yet <clears throat> i'm excited to be here i always keep saying that but i truly am i'm really happy to be here uh, I have four days back in the city and then I have five days back here. So I just have to make sure that I have everything that I need. Um, I'm starting to create a list of some things um, like in the kitchen. I don't have anything to clean my pot. I don't use soap. I usually just boil water and that's how I clean my pot. And uh, so, but then I usually have a paper towel. I have no paper towels up here. I used a baby, I used a, um, a wipe. Uh, not a baby wipe, but a butt wipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my, my oatmeal this morning tasted uh, fresh and clean. <laughs> yeah, i got to remember to bring um, pay some paper towels out here. I also plan on going hiking a lot this, this next, uh, next trip up here for five days. So you'll be getting a lot of hiking videos. I probably won't shoot as many videos at the tent, but I'll be shooting some more out and about. I'm going to try to find some trails that don't have a lot of snow on it. Um, Rocky doesn't really like all the snow and it makes it really hard for him to walk around and stuff. And he's getting a little older, you know, he's getting a little older, it's getting a little tougher for him. So I gotta be really careful of the trails that I choose for him. He's gonna have to retire within a year or two. That's kind of how I see it. Um, but we're gonna see how he does this year on his hikes and stuff. But he's starting to show a little bit of his age. He is seven years old and his dad lived till nine years old. So kind of give you an idea. He's a big dog and uh, big dogs usually don't last that long, but we hope to get you to live a long life, Rocky's long life. <laughs> he's like, look at his lips. He's just licking, he's just like, just touch me, I don't care. Okay, let's get going on some chores and stuff. I think I'm gonna start with uh, the bug stuff. I want to show you what I do for how I prevent like ticks and spiders and ants and stuff from getting inside my tent. No, Rock, come on. No, not for you. Back up, back up, wait, back, back. Okay, no, rocks. no. He thinks everything's his food. Okay, if you see my video, I've, I've done videos on this already, but I'm just kind of showing you because I know I have a lot of new subscribers and thanks for subscribing, I appreciate it. Um, insect dust. This is three years old. I've been using this. So it's about this full right now. I'm going to use the rest of that. And then I bought a new one, which is it's easier for you to see it. Do you see that? So what I'm told, this is like some sort of like shell or something like that. It gets on the insects and you can look this up too. This is just my way of describing it. It gets on the ins the insects like um, outer body and it basically dehydrates them and so they end up dying. Um, I don't want ticks. I'm telling you, I do not want ticks here. This can help out with that and that's why I'm spreading it around. It goes all the way around the tent and it's going to go all in the um, my classes for their their 
their tent areas too so I'll be spreading around there so if you're taking my class and you're wondering what all that white dust is that's what that's gonna be it stays forever so I'm gonna keep getting asked on a ton of videos of what is that white dust on the floor or what is that white part on the floor if you guys see a comment like that if you could respond for me that'd be great <laughs> that is this I get asked almost on every video last year when I first put this up and so I'm going to spread it around the entire tent in a, in a circle. Now I do get um, spiders here. He's still looking for loves. I, I do get spiders here. Um, I didn't get any ants in the tent in the last two years. So th what is your deal today, dude? Seriously. Okay. I didn't get any ants in the tent. I should probably knock on wood here. I'm knock on wood. Um, I didn't see one tick in the tent either yet. I'm not going to wood again a couple times. Um, so I think it works. I don't know. I do get spiders though. Get a lot of spiders in the tent. And I just hope Madison doesn't see them. So I get rid of them before she, uh, before she looks that way. And in fact, last night I had uh, two spiders in the tent. Okay, buddy. Okay, let's start spreading this stuff. Right, back up, back up. Give me speed. It feels like I'm doing some sort of like ritual thing or something like that. It's just like a, I'm putting so the spirits can't get into the tent. <laughs> oh, okay, now it's off to the camping spots for my ladies. I hope I hope this works. This year. I hope I don't have a lot of ticks. They do come out in the spring. I really haven't seen them here in the summertime. Um, just the springtime. So. But, you know, putting this down just kind of puts some people's eyes, uh, minds at ease. My lips are a little frozen. It's cold, like my hands are freezing right now. Hoping it's going to warm up here soon. Okay, and I got to fix this sign too. So for fun for the ladies, I make little signs for their camp spots. I have up to four camp spots. And so what I'm going to do, the, currently right now, I, put, I stored them away in the winter time. So I'm going to start putting them back up. And I just tie them to the trees. And it kind of shows what campsite it is. In case they ever wanted to say, you know, hey, I'm at campsite number one. Can you help me with something? You know what I mean? Um, they're only here for a night. And then we go off into the, the wild and go backpacking. But it's just kind of fun for me and um, got me more opportunity to paint because I like painting.
because you can't make nature girly. <laughs> of course, I add flowers to my my little pieces of furniture out here. Um, I really like these benches. Uh, these benches were made last year, and I put the names of my top supporters um, from my YouTube channel. So um, I have Moses over there, Gary over here, and Jim over here. Um, and it has their initials on it because they have donated a lot to Spirit Forest and have uh, donated either items or funds to Spirit Forest that um, I felt that they deserved their own little bench here. So I put their name on there. That's in, in my way to say thank you. So thank you, you three, and thank you for anyone who who has donated to my channel, who has um, sent me packages. I did receive a lot this, this winter, and you'll be seeing me using a lot of the stuff that you sent me. Um, and if you haven't seen it already, um, I have my, my basement or my, my gear room down in, the, um, in my basement is full of um, new gear, new stuff for me to try, and I'm really excited to, to get to try that. And by you guys donating and giving me these little gift boxes, um, it forces me to try something different, which I really like it, because it's like some things I would have never thought of, and you guys have sent that in the mail, and I appreciate that. So thank you for those that have done that. There you go, now we can get Rocky in the shot. It's actually warming up a bit, or I've been walking around a lot, so I'm getting kind of hot, so it's time to ch change a layer. However, that kind of looks like a rain cloud over there. That's okay. So, I want to give a little plug for my August class. It's on August 10th, and it is a co-ed class. So, my backpacking classes fill up pretty fast. I had uh, two backpacking classes, and I think they filled up in January. Um, for June and July. So I do have one more class available. It is in August. It's a little bit different. It's not really backpacking. It is a way for me to try to gather more funds for my charity that I am featuring on my channel, which is Wilderness on Wheels. We will meet at Wilderness on Wheels. Um, it's only $40 to come. It's four hours and $20 of that $40 goes to Wilderness on Wheels as part of the donation that um, we p give to them. So I am trying to raise $500 and I hope that I, if I don't fill the class, that's okay, but I'd like to get a little bit more people signed up for it. I think I only have like four people signed up for that August class. And uh, again, co-ed, and you can come out, even if you, you know all this stuff, even if you know all this bushcraft stuff or whatever, it may be come out and just hang out with me you know that's kind of it I'm gonna be teaching some stuff but honestly it's gonna be more just kind of hanging out we're gonna go for a little hike um, at Wilderness on Wheels on their boardwalk we're gonna do some like knife safety stuff and I don't know exactly everything I'm gonna do in that class yet we'll probably do some like tarp hanging stuff but if you already know this stuff that's okay just come along don't worry I, I don't know if the class will fill up but but I would like to have it filled up because then I can get a lot more donations for Wilderness on Wheels. So that is on August 10th and it's a four hour class. So you're not committed to a full day. And uh, come join me here in the mountains. I am back at my storage bin here. Oh, I got too much stuff. I gotta organize this. Now I got two storage bins. I really want this organized. And I think the next time I come out here, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll do kind of a video of what it is that I store up here. And I always look for suggestions and your comments and stuff of what to bring up here. You guys have really helped me a lot. Um, there's a lot of times I'm like, ah, I don't need that. And you guys had this idea and it really, it really worked out. So I'm in the process of going to put up some lights um, that I have here. This is my, this one was my giveaway last year. I did a a motion detector light. I really like it. So I'm going to put this one back up. And then I have, um, these are new. These are new. I hope maybe they, these are brand new, brand new. This remember I said I was going to, um, get some more stuff to decorate my tent. Oh, this is part of it. And this is why I'm out of funds. Now I bought two blankets and these lights and I'm, and I'm done. <laughs> my budget is done. I think the blankets were about like, 
I don't know, a little under $200. And I think this was like 40 or $60 or something. So I'm done. I'm done. But I don't know. Oh, you can't see it. But it, it shows like a flame. So it's like a, it's like a flame kind of look and it's, and it's solar powered and it looks like fire. And I thought that'd be kind of cool. I spent way too much money on it, but I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Is this a button? Uh, oh, you can, oh, you, maybe you can see it. Can you see it? Isn't that cool? Cause you know, I'm going to be in a fire ban here soon. I really am. And I think it would be really cool to have that out on the, like right in the front area. So I guess there is an on and off switch. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep these out. I'm not going to put them up yet. Next time I come up here, I'm going to put them up, but I'm just going to keep them out so they can get power in them so I can see what they're like at night. So that should be fun. And I have another, some more little lights that I'm going to put around. It's kind of nice when you're walking around, you have just a little bit of a path of a light. And uh, especially for the ladies in my class that really don't know what the area looks like. You know, I do tell them to bring a headlight. So, uh, that, so that way when they're walking around in the dark and stuff, they don't get lost. Um, I think Stacy, when she was here, she got lost. <laughs> She got, I think she got lost going to the porta potty or something. She thought she could make it, but she got lost. It gets really dark here. Okay, so I'm going to put up some of these lights. I think this is awesome. I think it's going to look really good at night. There you go, that's all my budget. <laughs> oh, before I leave the storage bin, this is something I want. If you guys knew, I want to get a little metal thing to go here. I think I'm going to paint something right here. And uh, not metal thing. I want a little uh, leather thing to go here and I want some sort because this thing keeps falling off um, I want something so I can protect it so if one of you guys have one of these things um, hang around and you're not using it and you want to donate it to Spirit Forest I welcome that donation I like the darker um, leather on it but I don't know I'm guessing you have to know what size it is and I, I have no idea what size that is. Um, I don't even know how you measure it. But I think that would be nice because this thing keeps falling off. And then I know I know pretty soon I'm going to lose that little rubber thing on the on the end. So if you have any, or if you have ideas of where I can go to get some, or how to make it, <laughs> I don't know if I have time to make it. But ooh, I just heard thunder. I better hurry. I better hurry and get this stuff out. Okay, see you in a bit. I have my nice chaga tea and I have my lights, my new lights right there. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. So I'm going to see what they look like when it's actually dark outside because I don't know yet. And uh, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. My fire is dying down. It just has a little bit of coals left, so I'm kind of waiting for that. I was planning on going for a hike, but I did hear some thunder and lightning, and uh, I was going to hike around this area. But then I started feeling a little guilty that maybe I should go home um, because Sam is there and my mom's there. And, you know, Sam's, like I said in my first video Sam's not doing very well he's on dialysis and he's looking for a new kidney so um, I might just um, I might I might go home and hang out with Sam I love Sam you know he, he's my mom's boyfriend and he's such a kind guy and and so I think that I'll skip a hike this weekend and I'll go and I'll hang out with Sam I think that's the right thing to do He's like a, he's like a dad to me, you know, I don't have a dad, so, um, well I do, but he's no longer around, <laughs> but, um, so he's kind of like a dad to me, so I want to spend as much time with him as I can. So I'm going to pack up here soon. I want to thank you for joining me on this, and, um, I have a lot more videos coming your way because I'm going to be out here for five days, and when I'm by myself for five days, that's a lot of videos for you guys because I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to take you on some hikes and I'm hopefully I'll get some good scenery. Hopefully the weather's going to be good and hopefully it will be warmer. That's what I really hope. It's going to be warmer. 
I have some people coming to visit next weekend too. Um, but they're only coming for like an hour or two or something like that. So, um, again, it will be mostly just you and me, um, next weekend. So hopefully you join me and, uh, going to still get ready for the classes and such. Um, I do have a class happening here soon. Actually, maybe it might be happening when this video post it's um in J i have two classes in june and uh, one in july and one in august it's exciting stuff this is the, this is my busy time this is where i this is when i shine you know this, i love this time of year so and i want to learn to fish too i got asked by somebody that that they would teach me how to um fly fish so um you might be seeing a fly fishing video possibly i don't know we'll find out see how much see if i have enough time and stuff for that i think that'd be kind of fun to get out on the river and uh fish some trout take it home if they let me didn't eat it <laughs> that doesn't attract bears at all <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding Okay, well, I'm going to get going. I'm going to pack up my tent here soon. Well, I don't have to pack anything up, actually. I leave most of the stuff here, and uh, like, which is nice about the canvas tent, because when I leave, I just get in my car and go. <laughs> and I'll be back here in four days. So thanks again for joining me, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. For those of you that don't know, this is my Sam. Yes. <laughs> he, he's my adopt. I adopted you. <laughs> <laughs> I say hello to all those Spirit Force people. She's a great girl. I'm a good girl. Yes, love her. <laughs> so I just wanted to show off Sam so you guys knew who I was talking about. He was in season one. You were at the campsite when mm. we were building the deck. And I hope to get you out there again soon. Oh. No. God willing. <laughs> okay.